Hello, friends. Uncle Marv here with another episode of the IT Business Podcast. And yes, we are still live in Orlando at IT Nation Secure. I am outside of the IT Solutions Pavilion. People are funneling out after lunch, so it might quiet down a little bit, so there won't be too much noise in the background. But even if there is, you know me, I'll do the best I can to edit it out. In the meantime, I am actually joined by Greg Lolly from IT Nation. Greg, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you I'm, finding the show? Uh, I'm finding the show a little bit different from this side. Yeah. So I have attended as an MSP, but now as a member of the media, I, I get to watch all the fun go for by. Lens. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so now let's just say for you, uh, the show started off uh, last night with the keynote yeah. and the big announcement that you were taking over all of IT Nation. I don't know if that's the exact yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, so I guess a couple of things there just to unpack, right? So um, we kind of came into the IT Nation role about 60 days ago. So I was uh, on the sales team for 14 years. I started there and led our international teams for the last 12. Okay. So I uh, had spent a lot of time in London looking after EMEA. We've got uh, about 110 folks there and colleagues, and we have about 47 in Australia doing ANZ. So kind of uh, looking after and managing the business affairs down there. Um, and so, you know, this is kind of a shift over from at, I want to say leaving the sales role and kind of putting on the community hat, something at 53, maybe my age, maybe my altruism. I'm not really sure what that I'm kind of making that shift. I do know, but, um, you know, really enjoying the journey. And just the other piece I wanted to kind of start off by saying is that we actually have three experiences going on. And yesterday morning we had something we call IT Nation Grow, which is we're working with owners who want to focus on the transition uh, to exit, not the transaction, right? You're on LinkedIn now and you see all of these things where, you know, the, the photograph where someone says, sold my business or so-and-so bought so-and-so, right? But that's three to five years in the making if you do it right. You're building valuation strategies. So we're trying to really lean in to the MSPs to help them do that. And of course, we had Automation Nation yesterday as well. So we had two, uh, you know, events going on, two experiences simultaneously before we, we kicked off. I hit main stage at five o'clock last night. All right. Now, I'm not a full-blown member of the ConnectWise family, so some of these questions may sound like they come out of the blue. No, go ahead. But in terms of you coming from the international side onto IT Nation fully, how much of the North American flavor are you going to be dealing with for the first time? Well, it's not the first time. So obviously, again, I'm saying 53. I've had sales careers in North America. I was born and raised here, so okay. not that. But I've just, I'd say there's been an influence, certainly, for the last 12 years of all the colleagues, of all the partners, of all the conversations we've had all over the world and different views and visions. And so I hope to really bring that in further into the community build, something I've always been passionate about, but building coming with the, with the sales background and being able, hopefully, to, to marry the two. What, what do our partners need and crave and want? And what is it that we can develop and put our energy into that's really going to help them the most. All right. So how much in the first 60 days, you said before here, uh, did you get into actually, you know, communicating with MSPs and how they want to see things in IT Nation progress? So the first stop was in um, Dallas. We did Evolve. So our peer groups were um, there. So I was early May. I was uh, done in Dallas. I'll be in Denver in August. So part of it is a readjustment, a reacclimation to North America, which is a lot of what I'm doing is making sure I get FaceTime with North American partners so they get to know me and who I am uh, because, again, uh, just, just lack of, of interaction. So I think hopefully once they get to know and understand what we can do and how we can help, not just the people that are in our community now, but again, I want to be really clear that part of my mission is to not just serve 16,000 ConnectWise partners. Traditionally, that's where it's resided. Our inspiration, our frameworks, our tools are good regardless of what software you're using. And we're going to welcome those people. If they want to learn and take their business to higher ground, we, are, we want to share those, those things with them as well. So we're trying to open it up, not only amongst the tool sets, but also amongst the communities. I've, I've, I've interviewed a lot of other people that are running communities. We're, I'm going to try, to try to bring them together. Right in November, it should be a, a fabulous organization as we, as we roll out really the community of communities message. So all of this sounds like it's just simply one word growth. Uh, and you had the, the pre-day event yesterday. I did not get to attend that. And outside of, you know, the keywords of AI and cybersecurity, grow seems to be the complete focus here. Um, how much push do you think we're going to need uh, to see with growth for MSPs to really feel like a change is here? 
Well, I, th I think growth might be something we are talking about now. But if you talk to Peter Kajawa, if you know Peter, if, you, if you've spoken to him, yep. um, he'll talk to you about you know, business efficiency and knowing your numbers. And that benchmarking is essential to what we do. So sure, it fuels growth and you know what your event numbers are, but there's a whole host of things and levers. How do, how do you act and what do you do within the right. business? So um, I think it's a high degree of focus, but there's certainly other topics we hit on as well. Um, and I think the development leadership teams and scaling, there's a human element side that we continue to focus on as well. And even as I said, from main stage, we're going into the, the, the health and well-being, um, which is really critical, now, right? The more I, I guess you really, of course, everybody understands it, but the more everybody's in this, it's a demanding world, man. It's noisy, and you know that. There's so many things out there, and people need to slow down. No matter who you are, people need to slow down every now and then and just just take it easy. And it's, as you know, like I said, it's just demanding. Right. So I think all of those things interest me about trying to help people, including myself, manage the chaos. Right. So for people who we understand IT Nation has always been connected to ConnectWise, yeah. um, kind of a part of it. it. It seems as though now IT Nation is going to branch off on its own, and we know IT Nation for the two conferences. Uh, what is in store for IT Nation as it does this breakaway? Yeah, so I would say, you know, maybe a little division equality. So it's, not, it's, it's an intentionality to share the stage more. ConnectWise is always going to have the place in IT Nation. ConnectWise is always going to be a premier sponsor, right? That's the institution. We're still, IT Nation isn't its own company. However, everything short of that, my intention to all the vendors and the and solution partners that I talk about is to ensure that we give them opportunity and, and help them right, go to market plans to the community as we grow the community to make sure they can keep growing and, and achieving their goals as well. So I think, again, I use the word, we use the word intentionality a lot to make sure that we come into November, you're going to see a lot more different faces and places uh, on the stages that I hope that are going to be welcoming to people where maybe they thought of it as a purely connect wise community. And then they're going to look and go, this, this is an industry powerhouse and really look at it. Well, I think that that has always been the case. I mean, when you look at some of the things like pitch it mm. is, is something where you're bringing in new and developing vendors uh, and the fact that you allow, you know, vendors to be here, even if they're not, you know, in the ConnectWise ecosystem and stuff. So I, I think that that's always been the, the case, but this new intentionality of making them feel more welcome, I think is going to be good. And that's that's great for us as MSPs. Yeah, I, th I think it's it's the vendors, but it's also the MSPs themselves. Again, I don't care for using a competitive tool. If you can come and come to our peer groups and you can improve EBIT by over 30%, which I have testimonials, and that'll be coming to light, right? It, you, you can still use something else and still get that benefit. The ConnectWise folks are going to still get that, still have full access to that as they do, and they just have the domain expertise because it's been around long enough. Right. So I'm trying to break through, or we're trying to break through a little bit and say, hey, other people have communities, or they, again, maybe take a picture of 30 people and call it a community. I'm not really sure what goes on there. But we have institu institutional fundamental change and transformation plans that we can enact and we can help you, as we talked about before, achieve accountability. Inspiration and accountability are the two key words that MSPs need to, to live and, and grow and learn by. So I want to go back and just say the fact that we as North America, of course, we're a little bit uh, tunnel visioned. We see things only from our point of view. Mm -hmm. But where is IT Nation growing globally? Yeah. So we've got really robust um, uh, communities going on in Australia and New Zealand. Again, where we've, where we've centered in the theater of operation, so UK, Ireland, and now we're expanding into continental Europe. So you see the Dutch market, you see Nordics, you see areas that are, we would say Western developed thinkers that kind of gravitate towards that and are able to, um, you know, really, they're, ma they're mature markets from an MSP perspective right. because they've been seeded by us and our competitors for 20 years. And so they're further along in their journey, but in different markets, there's different rates of which we proceed and what content is, is valuable. So in certain areas, VARs are still the dominant player and they still need a lot more of opening and building managed services, right? Where a lot of people here may think that's you either did that already or you're done, right? right? And so, so I think you look at, look at the markets we're going into, but really we have pretty, pretty good um, uh, and we'll continue to grow. But I see Central Europe, but also still UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, uh, we have hundreds of partners if you add them up, peer peer groups as well as then ConnectWise partners, but peer and IT Nation, hundreds of partners in those regions. Okay. Let's take a little personal twist here now. You uh, have dealt with international in this new role. Are you going to be relocating 
uh, in any form or fashion. And I mean that by coming here to the home office in Tampa and yeah. uh, dealing with the heat that we have. Yeah, well, look, <laughs> I've, been, I've been down in Florida since I graduated Penn State in 92. And um, uh, it tells you my age a little bit, which I'm not afraid to say. I'm 53. <laughs> I wasn't going to say Sometimes people are doing the math and go, oh, you're older than you look. No. Um, so, you know, uh, I came down to Florida right away. So, um, you know, through the past decade, because I traveled so much, there was never really, I'd say, a home or residency. So I had, we had a place in London. I had a place in Sydney. So I had places to go. But... I still kept my residence. The home base is always here. Yeah, so it's not really relocating, having to pack up a bunch of stuff. We did a little bit of stuff, but it's, you know, I I travel light. I I like to hear that. I like to hear us Floridians sticking it out and hanging around. And, uh, you know, with all the people moving in, we're we're still here. Yeah. Home, home values are going up, that's that's for sure. sure. (laughs) By you, too. I'm sure it's gone crazy. Yeah, it has. It has. All right, so I know, I know it's been a whirlwind for you, uh, and, and you've had several interviews with others. Uh, I don't know, you know, if there's a question that tires you the most, but let me ask, what's been the best question you've gotten so far since being here and, and having the news announced? Mm, the best question that's been yeah. asked of me? Um, I, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's similar, and it's more about the strategy and where we're going. And I think it's, it's just a clarification about the time in chair, my transition now, and what we have the ability to impact and do. So it's um, they're all been centered around. I don't know that there's been anything direct that's really been like, wow, that's a really challenging question. It's more about understanding the strategy. I think people want to know, um, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Like I said, the team that's been assembled is there. If you know any of them, um, they've built and carried the institution for many years. And this goes back to, again, going back to Arnie, David just walked by. You know, the, the people that have been here helped build this over a long time. So, and the people that are here have been here a long time as well. So, um, yeah, I don't think I, I. I wish I'd come up with a zinger for you. I don't. No, that's I don't okay. Know, yeah. Here's here's the only go, zinger I'll come up go, with. Go ahead. Give me Where one. does the future of Sean Lardo stand? Oh boy, is, <laughs> is he paying you for this? I'm looking under the desk. No, now. I've got to talk with him. For, you know, all summer with the no, pitch Sean, and stuff. So we, yeah, no. Looks at Sean is extremely passionate. He has. I, I love that. If you notice, um, probably a lot of stuff when I talk or speak. There's a lot of passion that comes out. I'm not a very laid back person. Um, a lot of you, a lot of ConnectWise people are all passionate and, yeah. and you can hear it. So, yeah, I, I see that. Yeah. And so we've been working really hard to figure and reimagine what, what pitch it looks like on a grander scale. I want people to think bigger and not be constrained by how we've done things. Because then that's always been the case, too. If you've been away for a while and you come back or, so you have, you know, change in leadership that so gives you a change in perspective. You talked about kind of the North American you know, way of thinking, which I highlighted right. before too, is one of the frameworks we used was the, the Eastern versus Western thinking. Western, I got a problem. Here's your solution. You get right to it. I'll tell you what your answer is. Kind of that, right? Eastern or in some of the, you kind of circle around it a little bit and you say, are we doing what's right? How about if we did it this way? You spend more time questioning so that you're more solid and resolute in the in where you land than rushing to get there. A lot of time expediency is where we're at. Right. Get it done, get it done tomorrow. You don't spend enough time, or we don't, not you directly, but spend time thinking and creating. So allowing yourself the ability to create and make it different if you want. Think bigger, think bolder. You may end up at the same spot, but allow yourself that freedom and flexibility. Start with a clean whiteboard and what about what if? And put it up there and see what happens. Yeah. My uh, football coach used to say, you know, you can have the fastest speed on the team, but if you're running fast in the wrong direction, <laughs> you know, so being able to think and adjust and yeah. have the speed, but also the agility uh, to to measure if what you're doing is right. Uh, I think you guys have t- taken a very good approach to it, and I, I appreciate that. So, uh, any other big news? Uh, I know that no, we you know, mean, we've had the ConnectWise yeah. Secure 360. We've had a lot of stuff announcing your new position here with IT Nation. Anything else? No, I just look forward to kind of getting on with the planning for Connect, right? So some of the stuff, if you think of kind of chapters of how they unfold when these events unfold. Now, we have IT Nation in Australia at the end of August. I've got Evolve in, in Denver in the beginning of August. But really, again, starting to put a line share about who, who are we going to bring for Connect? Who are we going to bring as guest speakers? Who are we going to bring for what is the variety that I'm going to bring in the spice of some of these Things and I want to a cadence. We're gonna we're gonna bring a lot of things, hopefully, that are gonna make a lot of people excited for different reasons to come and uh, be part of the uh, the event experience. All right. Well, I will be in uh, Orlando for IT Nation Connect. I'll be covering the pitchet stuff, and we'll be doing stuff all summer with IT Nation. So I will get to watch and uh, 
see how things go. Yeah. I think it'll be pretty good. That's awesome. Well, we'd love to have you there. I'd love to have a sit down if we if you get in our schedules. We'll do. So, Greg, thank you very much there, folks. Uh, Greg Lolly, and I believe the official title. Uh, Tell General me manager right. of IT General Nation. Manager? That's, okay. that's fine enough. That's I won't, I won't sure be insulted. Senior Vice President yeah, and right. General that, Manager. That's all right. That's, all right. <laughs> nice. that's for my mom. All right. That's it, folks. Greg Lolly uh, with IT Nation here. And we'll be back with uh, another episode here from IT Nation in Orlando soon. Talk to you later. Holla. <laughs>